What's cracking? In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Sony FX6 to the Sony A7S III. Can you use these two cameras together? So if you guys didn't know already, I run and own a video production house here in Queensland, Australia. I will leave a link to the website down in the description if you're interested. So the majority of our work is corporate, online videos, TV commercials, that kind of thing. So a big part of our work is interviewing people. So that's where this comparison comes in. I've had the Sony FX6 and the Sony A7S III for over six months now, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of how these cameras work and operate together. The way we use these two cameras is generally the FX6 is the A camera and the A7S III is the B camera. But that is not to say that the A7S III cannot be your A camera. The A7S III is a beast of a camera and I've absolutely falling in love with it, especially the small form factor. It's just so easy to use. Also have some really exciting news. Artlist has decided to jump on and support this channel, which is so good. We need all the support we can get. And that means you guys get two months free if you try out with the link below. And this will give you copyright free music to use in all of your videos. To be completely honest, yes, I will get a small percentage if you guys sign up after the two months free, but all that money is going to go back into this channel to try and produce some really cool content for you guys. So the point of this video is to show you the A7S III and the FX6 side by side and you guys can make a judgment whether you think these cameras cut together well. Let's jump in and have a look at some footage. So this shoot was for the Scenic Rim Council. The brief was to talk to local producers and local businesses about an upcoming 10 year event. So on the left of all of these shots is the Sony a7S III and on the right is the FX6. Now straight off the bat, I mean, you have to appreciate the dynamic range of these shots. Um, for this shoot, we pretty much just had a scrim overhead um, of reflector and a LED panel. And um, I mean, I think it turned out gorgeous. I'm really, really impressed with the dynamic range of both cameras. And I think they both handled that particular situation really, really well. So I wanna make it really clear, all of these shots were graded using the same LUT. I'm not a big fan of the Sony Transform LUT. So what I actually used was the Sony Phantom LUTs. This was edited in DaVinci. So we used obviously the DaVinci LUT and just the neutral. On top of that, we adjusted the white balance slightly and added about 10% saturation. Other than that, nothing else was really touched. And to be honest, I could have probably perfected the white balance a little bit more, but, but you guys get the idea. I mean, you could finesse this a lot and get it absolutely perfect, but this is just to give you guys an idea of how well these cut together. So this second shot was shot in the hay shed. Um, I really like the lighting of this particular shoot. Um, everything just seemed to line up. It was an overcast day. So we had, so a lot of natural light was coming in. Um, we just had a couple of lights on there, backlight. Um, and I think it turned out really, really nice. The third one was obviously shot outside. Um, we were under a tree. So there was a little bit of speckle kind of hitting the top of her head, uh, which wasn't ideal, but, um, I do think this turned out really, really nice. The shot overall is uh, a little bit green for my liking, um, but there was a lot of green in the frame. We were surrounded by grass, surrounded by trees and plants. So um, of course the shot is gonna give off a green tinge. Um, I did add a little bit of magenta to all of these shots. Um, I'm talking not much at all um, because that's just the look that I prefer. I prefer magenta over green. Um, but overall, I think what we're looking at here is uh, the two different cameras, can you tell a difference? Can you tell me which one is the FX6 and which one is the A7S III? Um, I think they cut together beautifully. Now, if I have missed anything out in this video, um, please leave a comment below, ask as many questions as you want. These videos are here to try and help you guys and guide you guys with your shooting. So uh, I'm always there in the comment section, willing to help you guys out. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, share it and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.